Okay, we're gonna finish your blankets. So pretend this design is all throughout your blanket and it's beautiful. This is your folded up edge that you've saved onto. All your endings are underneath against the salvage edge. So I went ahead and did two stitches. You're gonna run one line along the bottom of your blanket on a straight way. And then you're gonna run one right here against your salvage edge to hold these down, okay? Then you get to do the fun part and cut these off all the way along that way, okay? Bless you, EJ, did you hear that? All right, so once you've cut all of those off, you're good to go on that end. You can take this out, okay? So we took out the bottom end, maybe. Easier said than done, I guess. Um, okay, so we took that out, all right? So we have this edge down here, and all these are loose. So these are all going to come out if we pull them. So what I like to do is cut the salvage edge off of this up to where I made that line. You don't have to be real specific there. Okay, that goes in your pile. So now, and you do that on this side as well, on the other end of your blanket. And then all you're gonna do is, you're gonna have some that rip out the side length and they're just gonna fall out and that's okay, because that's gonna create a straight line. Okay, so then all of your rows that are going horizontal on your blanket, you get to pull out. You get to pull all of them out. Sometimes before I pull all of them out, when I pull this out, if this is really like folded up and bunched, I iron this down because otherwise um, it's really hard to tie your tassels if these are really folded up. Um, the other thing you can do is before you pull all these out, you can sew your long edge so that you can walk away from your sewing machine. So to sew your long edge, you just fold this over and you're gonna sew all the way here and in the corner, you just make a triangle. So I fold it up like that and then I fold it in. So it makes a cute little triangle there. So let's sew that real quick. You're obviously gonna do a much better job sewing it than I did. But what that does is that finishes your salvage edge. I would use a really like deep stitch or like a really, I don't know what you call it, like they look like little mountain stitch, I don't know. But you can see here, if you do this nice, you get this nice corner so your blanket doesn't come apart there. So then you just tear out all these ends my favorite part. They make a mess. They go all over your floor. So once you have all these rows pulled out, it's going to start looking like this. So you'll see your tassels start to form here because eventually all these will be gone. Does that make sense? Let's turn this a little bit. So as we pull out all of these, you end up with all your tassels, all these rows just hanging off this end. So then, say you took out all these side rows and all you have is the long tassel, the long rows here, then all you do is you take five or six 
I like six. I don't know why. You take those five and you make a knot. You'll have these kind of extras here. You can just snip those off when you're done. But these knots, if you push them way up to the top, they look really nice. And then you just keep knotting all the way across and that's it.